sticking my tonsils out. Come on, this is serious. The better the posters look, the more people will come to the carnival. Carnival? Big deal. You spend 10 bucks to win a 25-cent goldfish that croaks before you get home. Oh, come on, Ollie. Where's your school spirit? Look, Kelly's in charge of this committee, and uh, we can't let her down. Thank you, Duffy. I'm glad somebody on this committee shares my sense of responsibility. All right, I'll do the stupid poster over. But there's no way I'm sticking my head through that hole to get hit by pies. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. There's no way your head would fit through that hole. <laughs> This old shirt of Wally's. I wouldn't be surprised if the little sisters of the needy give that one back. <laughs> Grandma, have you seen the mailman? Navy blue shorts, safari hats, support hose. Not today. I wish she'd get here. I'm waiting for my PSAT scores. College boards already? Nah. It's just a preliminary test to weed out the people who just don't have what it takes for higher education. Well, I'm gonna wait at the corner before Mrs. Buckner invites him in again. <laughs> Well, not yet. We uh, only have a box of parts so far. Hey, Mary Ellen, what are you doing with my favorite shirt? Oh, honey, it's full of holes. Yeah, I know, but I like but it. It's terrible. Now, come on, give me that. Okay. <laughs> well, did any of the paint end up on the posters? Well, not on Oliver's. Hey, give me a break. We're hanging them in the hallway, not the louver. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> That's pronounced the lube. Oh, well, I guess I must have spelled it wrong in my history book. <laughs> Here, Mr. Cleaver, use this. Ah, Swiss Army knife. You know, Oliver's got one just like this. Not anymore, Dad. I gave it to Duffy. You know, he's my best friend. Even though he did volunteer us for Kelly's stupid committee. That's OK, Oliver. I understand. It's a sign of real friendship. Guy stuff. You know, when I was about your age, I gave Larry Mandela my Captain Midnight Dakota ring. Yeah, as a matter of fact, last time I saw him, he was still wearing it. Hey, here we are. Oh, yuck, you got me a girl's bike. Um. Uh, Hey, well, that's okay, Slugger. I tell you what, we'll take it back to the store and we'll get another one. A black one. The man's model, huh? Hi, Kip. Uh, did you get your test scores? The only possible explanation is a computer error. I mean, I must not have used the number two pencil or something. 340 in math? And I was worried about how much it was going to cost for you to go to Princeton. Come on, Kip, don't worry. You know, test scores aren't everything. Colleges care just as much about grades and outside activities. I'm going to the library. Maybe join the Explorer Scouts. <laughs> All right, who wants to go to the store with us? Not me, Uncle Wally. Duffy and I are going home to watch Oriental Death Theater. Well, I can't today, Ollie. I got to go to my sister's dumb harp recitals. Uh, how about you, Kelly? It's a real good one today. Hands of fire. No, thanks. I hate movies where you see their lips move and you hear what they say ten seconds later. All right, come on, here we go. Shotgun! Well, then you better get moving. Kip and I used to do that back in the days when I thought he had potential. <laughs> well, uh... G goodbye, Kelly. Goodbye, Duffy. Your posters are beautiful. You have the soul of a real artist. Oh, thanks. You know, yours don't stink either. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. See ya. Well, we'll make two trips. All right with me. Hi, honey. Would you mind helping us with these? Oh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Did you do something to 
into your hair? Oh, me? No, nothing. Nothing at all. I just didn't have time to wash it. Looks really cool. Well, I didn't see you at lunch today. Oh, well, yeah, some of the guys, they locked me in the bathroom. But that's okay, because they wouldn't have done it if they didn't like me. Yeah. So, what are you going to do now? I was going to go check out the new comics at the store. Yeah. I was going to go to the soda shop. Well, hey, maybe you could go to the comic store with me, and I could go to the soda shop with you, and everybody's happy. Unless you don't want to be with me. Well, sure I do. Well, I don't know why, but lately there's been a lot of stuff I want to do with you. Well, hey, maybe you're just getting smarter. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, you know, Phil's record just got in the new Danny and the Dead Boy CD. Let's go scope it out. Uh, I can't. I gotta go to my sister's harp recital. You went to your sister's harp recital last Saturday. Oh, well, uh... See, the girl before her got her braces stuck in the strings, and so everybody else has to go today. <laughs> How about you, Kelly? Want to go? Um, I can't. Uh, my mom's making me go post for an oil painting, and they want to hang me over the piano. Jeez, you guys are as much fun as coughing for the school nurse. <laughs> I feel bad about Lion. Think he knew? Nah, he's not that smart. I've copied off his papers lots of times. <laughs> wait a minute. You're going to hire an SAT tutor to give you more homework so you can go to college where they give you even more homework? Right. Yeah, but isn't that sort of like paying a guy to sit on your chest and dangle spit over your face? <laughs> hey, guys. You know, you should probably do coke, because that's not very sanitary. Uh, in case you're wondering about my sister's Harp recital, uh, it got canceled because uh, she got cramps. <laughs> well, she shouldn't play the harp right after she eats. <laughs> uh, Ollie, let's go down to the cheerleader practice. Watch them work on that pyramid, okay? But Kip, I'd rather. Come on. What'd you kick me for? Because that was the dumbest excuse I've ever heard. Oh, great. One date and we're already acting like my parents. So wait a second. There are only three cheerleaders. How great a pyramid could they make? Ollie, why don't you try using something north of your eyebrows? Can't you tell that Kelly and Duffy want to be alone? Oh, yeah? Why are they sitting together? <laughs> I'll make this simple. Kelly and Duffy have the hots for each other. No way! She slugged him two weeks ago for burping the national anthem. <laughs> Just look at it. Hi, Mom. How was school? You know, after asking you boys that for 30 years, kind of nice to have someone ask me. Oh, my pleasure. Now go wash your hands. Dinner's almost ready. <laughs> well, looks like three lamb chops apiece, guys. Holly's not coming down. Again? Okay, tell him your grandmother cooked them. No, it's not that, mm -hmm. Dad. See, Holly's in the dumps, because he found out Kelly and Duffy are kind of an item. Really? Can't imagine Kelly liking a boy who goes around burping the national anthem. You know, he's feeling really left out. Kelly and Oliver aren't just the kind of cousins whose parents make them dance together at weddings and that's it. Yeah, they are pretty close. Last Halloween, they shared the same wax lips. And Duffy. He sleeps over so much, he keeps a pair of pajamas here. They stay up all night talking about stuff like, what's harder, a diamond or steel? It's a diamond. I'd better go talk to him. Uh, Dad, why don't you let me take a shot at it? You know, when a parent goes up to a kid's room wanting to talk, it makes him feel like he's done something wrong. Okay, go ahead. But be understanding, be sensitive, and be brief. These lamb chops were expensive. Mmm, right. that's good. Aren't those Duffy's pajamas? Yeah, I just wish she was in them. Oliver, I remember when I was your age. It's a tough time, straddling the emotional fence between childhood and maturity. Oh, great. A lecture on life from a guy who can't even remember the combination to his gym locker. Shut up and listen to your big brother, who threw you down the stairs once and can do it again. You saying? Listen, 
In a couple of weeks, Kelly will get tired of Duffy and all those noises he makes. You two will be closer than those guys in the Calvin Klein underwear ads. Just stay cool and let things work themselves out. Gee, Kip, you're pretty smart. How come you do so crumb in your PSATs? You say? Well, what I do? No, 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 Kip. No, 340 math is very respectable. Ah, not the stairs. Kevin, you're acting like a child. You promised me Thunder Wheels. I told you, it's on back order. That's what you said about the flamethrower. No. <laughs> Dad, Mom, I know you're really going to enjoy having Duffy over for dinner. He's really quite a gentleman, and he'll eat anything if it's free. Well, in that case, tell him the rescue mission serves until 9. I'll get it. For you. They're beautiful. I must have a cold. Oh, no, they're plastic. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Hmm. You could try and be nice. One belch and he's out of here. Duffy, we're so glad you could make it. Oh, me too. It was my turn to do the dishes at home. <laughs> I threw up yesterday. Kevin, please, uh, why don't you sit right there? Next to me. <sighs> well, enough small talk. You know that Kelly and I have something real special going here. Oh, uh, boy, honey, where'd you get this lettuce? Wally, Duffy is speaking to us. I know, dear. I just can't get over this lettuce. <laughs> Mr. Cleaver, I want you to know that my intentions are nothing but honorable. And I promise to never ditch Kelly on the highway or nothing like that. Oh, that's encouraging. Not like that motorcycle gang she used to run with. Wally, <laughs> Duffy, speaking for both of us, I can say that I think it's wonderful that you and Kelly like each other. And you may continue to like each other as long as it doesn't interfere with your schoolwork. Oh, I promise you it won't. Rest assured that what I feel for Kelly will last as long as my heart remains in my body. Isn't he deep? <laughs> Kelly likes a boy. Kelly likes a boy. Kelly Keep it up, a Kevin, boy. and Monster will be back in your closet. Hi, Ollie. I figured I'd find you here. Uh, this is not what you think. I don't know what it is yet, but believe me, it's not what you think. <laughs> you relax, Duffy. Everything's cool. I know about you and Kelly, and, uh, well, it's great. I mean, you're, you're my best friend, right? And I, uh, well, well I wouldn't give my Swiss Army knife to any idiot. <laughs> you didn't, um, lose my Swiss Army knife, did you? No, it, it's not lost. <sighs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It's great. Really? No, no, it, it looks good on you, Kelly. Hey, have you seen Freddy? I got a big banquet to go to tonight, and I need my pants hemmed and pleated. <laughs> hey, why the long face? You just find out that you're not adopted? <laughs> hey, what's eating you, Junior? You can trust Uncle Eddie. Well, yeah. What about that time you sent me to pick up that package at the Union Hall? I had no idea they'd do something like that to a kid. So? Spill it. Well, I got a problem with this guy. An egg in his house and stuff wouldn't be enough. Know where I can get a good hit, man? Am I hearing right? Those words from a descendant of Ward Cleaver? I know, Mr. Haskell. 
Because I'm just not thinking straight. Yeah, I'll say. Why use a third party? Where's the satisfaction in that? You do the job yourself. It's the American way. You challenge him to a fight? Are you kidding? You sneak up behind a creep and you hit him with everything you got. That wouldn't be fair. What, are you bucking for a Nobel Peace Prize or something? This is lightning. This is thunder. Hey, you go whip up a storm on this chump. I can't believe how much trouble we had finding one of these. Yeah, but it's going to be worth it when we get to see the look on Kevin's face. <laughs> yeah, you were right. Did you see the look on his face? Mary Ellen, where did you find that? The store. I just walked in and bought the floor sample. Great. If you don't mind used merchandise. Well, Wally, you're not the first guy I ever dated. And we seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> Haskell, I got fender wheels. So you're spoiled. Big deal. <laughs> hey, Beef. Good thing you got a shyster for a brother. You're gonna be needing one soon. I'll see you later, Wally. Sure. Just run away from your problems. Hey, you should take all the money you save on desserts and send that five-foot sociopath of yours to a shrink. <laughs> Are you talking about Oliver? Hey, I was just downtown and ran into the crown prince of puberty. He was laying for some guy. And I think he's got a blade. Eddie, aren't you late for the scum fest? Hey, wait a minute, Beeb. I bet this has something to do with Duffy and Kelly. You mean Oliver's going to beat the tar out of Duffy? Where would he get an idea like that? Well, it's a little late to ask now. You permissive parents are all alike, weaning them on that Sesame Street propaganda while you're busy agonizing over a BMW color chart. You make me sick. Hey, are you getting a BMW? You gotta find Oliver. Gee, Kelly, no one hangs posters as straight as you. That's only because you put the tape on so good. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, not in front of the janitors. <sighs> hey, who do you think you are? My dad? <laughs> Holly, what are you doing? We're all buddies, right? Yeah, well, if we're so tight, how come I don't know Duffy's real name? Hey, Duffy is my real name. I was named after my parents' first dog. Yeah? Well, now you're dog meat. Because this is lightning, and this is thunder, and guess what, pal? You just got caught in the rain. Has he been drinking? <laughs> Holly, I can't believe how immature you're being. Get out of the way, Kelly. What little brains he's got are going to be all over your dress. Come on, Ollie. We don't have to fight. Why can't you just hate me like my sisters do? Because there's enough satisfaction in that. I always thought he could take me. Holly, are you all right? Leave me alone. I hate you both. Go back to your little love nest. Uh, Kelly, I think you better give me the knife back. No offense, but you're not worth it. Yeah, I feel the same way about you. Toothpick's kind of grungy. We had ribs for dinner last night. <laughs> You probably want this back. You guys are really break up just because of me? Well, don't give yourself all the credit. She's kind of pushy. <laughs> Look, Oliver, you're my cousin. I'd like you even if I didn't have to. You know how grown-ups are always saying they haven't seen someone in a long time? Well, I don't want that to ever happen to us. You guys should stay together. Really? Yeah. Because you like each other. You know what else? I think you got a real shot at being voted cutest couple in the yearbook. <laughs> well, yeah, we do turn heads. <laughs> well, if you're done bleeding, let's all go down to the soda shop and see if we can't think of someone who'd be willing to go out with you. Oh, Duffy, keep the knife. Oliver! Violence is never the answer. Now, I want you three to sit down and talk out your problem. Okay, Dad. We'll do it at the soda shop, all right? The three of you, together. Sure, just like we always do. You want some money? Sure, thanks. Here. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Grandma, my 
my tutor gave me a three-hour practice SAT test. Look at this. Oh, Kip! Oh, that's a tremendous improvement. Yeah, I know. Oh, it may not get me into Princeton, but it's definitely good enough for state. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> hey, if you do go to state, we can be roommates. You know, get an apartment off campus and party hardy. Uh, Grandma, you know, I still haven't given up on Princeton yet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Tonight at 7.35 Eastern on the Superstation, a hitman's out to make Fred dead on Sanford and Son. Then at 8.05, Sophia Loren makes Cary Grant's home and children ship shape. Houseboat. Now Barney tries to join an exclusive club on The Andy Griffith Show, next on the Superstation.